شيل الاحتراي شيلها يا شباب والله اذا بس عدوا شوي وصلوا على البيت ايوه شيلوا من وراء شوي يا شباب We got a crazy story. A newborn in Argentina was found very much alive. Where was she in? She was inside of a morgue. That's right, a morgue. They said by her 12, by her mother 12 hours after the hospital staff declared the baby dead. Oh my God. The mother and the letter Bourget tells Telenocus TV that the hospital has issued her only a death certificate for the infant rather than a birth certificate. Bourget said she is planning to pursue medical malpractice suit. Man, this shit, the baby was dead, put her in a morgue, I think she was alive. The Daily Mail reports the baby was Buffett's fifth and was born prematurely. Two hours after being issued, death certificate, Kurt and her husband visited the morgue because they wanted to see their child one more time. The baby was there and they put a little casket on their stretcher. We looked far before a border pride opened. The baby's father, Fabian Veron. At the press conference, my wife looked and uncovered the soul. They saw the little hand and uncovered the face. That's when it let the first little cry out. Oh my god. That night we went to the moor. We wanted to take a photo of our daughter, but could told in our teen newspaper. But when the worker opened the drawer, we heard her cry. She was alive. Being called nothing short of a miracle. Somehow, some way, an eight month old infant is thrown from a car and lands at least 25 feet away inside a drainage grate. Good evening, I'm Melissa Kakarika, and that's where we begin on this edition of KSLA News 12 Weekend at 10.
The eight-month-old girl was among five people rushed to the hospital after the crash last night. All have now been released except the driver who is still recovering. That remarkable chain of events unfolded about 7 o'clock last night in the eastbound lanes of Interstate 30 in Texarkana, Arkansas. Tonight, KSLA News 12's Jeff Farrell shows us the immediate aftermath of the crash and the amazed first responders. It was a chaotic scene Friday night when firefighters arrived on scene in the eastbound lanes of Interstate 30 in Texarkana, Arkansas. Police say that's where an 18-wheeler had clipped a car while changing lanes, causing the car to flip. Immediately as we got out of the engine, family members were saying that the baby was ejected from the car and was unaccounted for at the time. Texarkana, Arkansas firefighter Josh Moore says they began searching the thick hay in the interstate median. A good Samaritan was already out here searching for the baby and he claimed he heard something from this general direction. It was a drainage grate in the middle of the median, about 25 feet from the road. They began removing hay when they spotted the infant inside the grate. The eighth month old was actually sitting down in the grate, sitting up at here, sitting up and looking up at us, waiting for us to pull her out. She wasn't screaming, uh, she wasn't crying, she was just sitting there waiting for us. We reached down there and she more or less was, had her hands up, ready for somebody to pick her up. We, uh, it took three of us to work her around the grate and get her back up through. Remarkably, medics found little more than a scratch on her forehead. There's so many times we go out and things aren't okay. Uh, and just uh, during the holidays here to have a, a positive just feels good. Officials say the family is from Hope, Arkansas. None of the other four people in the car was seriously hurt either. Only the driver still remains in the hospital. Jeff Farrell, KSLA News 12. Police cited the driver of the 18-wheeler for improper and unsafe lane change, which is believed to have caused the crash. Police also confirmed the child's car seat was not properly installed and the child was not properly restrained in the seat, but the family has not been cited.